My name is Junior. Just Junior these days. And I'm an artist. A late blooming artist who just discovered a talent that my mother always knew that I had. But when I really knew I had it, I uh, I got another part-time job working for Mr. Brian Lee that owns the LA Open Market. He gave me an opportunity to make a few extra dollars and he did, he paid me well, he was considerate. So I made him a painting and I gave him a statue that I had. And he realized that just maybe I might be able to do, I might be able to do something artistically called um, abstract. I do that type of art. I could look at a tree, or I could look at the ground, and believe me, I could see a lot of different faces in the ground. I've been able to do that all my life. I could see different things. So I realized being an artist is just up my alley because I know that I can do this. I really like to paint reality. Like I did a, I made a painting about a guy who just lost his life. And I didn't even know his name. I used to call him the quiet bus stop man. He sat on the bus stop on Crenshaw and Wilshire. Quite a long time before that, he was off of Wilton Place in Wilshire. He would sit on that bench for hours. But that's how I met him, just sitting down. We didn't ask each other's names or whatever, but I realized I could trust him. If I wanted to go out and want to push my cart around, I would pay him to watch it for me. And I didn't even know his name. And I was the only guy I could actually trust to watch it. He's a pretty big guy. So I made a painting of him sitting on that bus stop. And that really touched me when I did it because he was the type of person nobody even knew who he was. I want to say with my art, but if the man has talent and he's doing what's right, it's like in the scripture, 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14 and 15 reads, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I will forgive their sin and heal their land. And now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive in this place. See, that's where I'm at right now. But see, you know what? At the end of the day, people only see what they want to see. I could be the best artist on earth, but they're going to still see the homeless junior, the one that goes to jail all the time. They're not going to see the new junior. But that's fine with me. It's enough people that don't know the old junior, that only know the new junior. You can't believe, which I did in the past. I believe that my hand was dealt to me. I was convinced through others that I didn't have a chance. My mother always instilled in me. But I'm gonna tell you what she told me, the last thing she told me. After I said, please mom, don't leave me. Son, I'm ready to go. Listen to me. She told me the fear this false evidence appeared real. It's just lucky to have one friend. She also told me your brother and sister had their turn already. Son, you're about to have yours now, but you have to go through pain and suffering before you get it. But you're going to get it because you're ready for it now. What is your higher power? What keeps you going? The Lord Jesus Christ. I pray each and every day. I pray over my work. I pray over my friends. I pray over my life. You know it's on my church step. And I'm a real person. And I think of my mother knowing what I'm doing now because she already knew. It makes me feel better. And that's what it is. I know I've been to different art galleries. I've looked at their art. I don't have no formal education. All I do is pray over my art. I ask that God's words be revealed to the way people need to see my painting, which will be different for everybody, because everybody sees things differently. I'm an emotional person, especially when it comes down to my mother. My mother always told me that everything I needed was already in me. I thought my success would come in the form of 
some kind of wager of some kind. So I used to buy lottery tickets. My gift was to be able to create different avenues for people to look at, to be able to see different things that they've never seen before. And that's what I do in my art because there's no way nobody could do what I do. I use fire, oil, all kinds of different things. Smoke out, you know, from a sick, everything. I put my foot in it. It started off kind of slow. I didn't have any real good paint. I started off using markers, fingernail polish, cardboard out the trash can, you know. But slowly but surely, it was just times when I was wondering, like one time, I never forget it. I was like, God, you know what? Man, I ain't got no water. I don't have no water left. I ain't got no blanket. Let me tell you what happened. When I was on the bus, it was only one person on it. Where I sat was a blanket. And when I got off the bus, it was a half gallon of water. Things like that always let me know God had my back and was looking out for me. I'm surrounded with good people now. Not people to steal from me. People to look out for me. I ain't missed no meals yet. And if I have something extra, I feed people. Ain't nobody over here gave me no dirty look. But I know they look on the side. I know it's a lot of prejudice everywhere you go. I'm not saying this is the best case scenario. But for right now, it gonna get no better than this. You know, like the gentleman right there, he's been around like I have. We don't sit back and, and, and bullshit each other. We keep it 100. That way I'll never be 50. You have 50 shit, but you have to figure out what you lied about and all this shit. If you don't lie to me, then what you say to me is meaningful. If you lie to me, I'm gonna know it. Those type of people, I don't, I don't like liars. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. No need for another take, huh? That was good? Yeah, that was good. All right.